Good to see you, creator. I'm going to help you understand song lyrics in OBS using Google Slides. We'll be applying chroma key and you'll learn how to animate the lyrics as they come into view. If this is the first time to the channel, you can think of me as a video technology explorer. I'm on an eternal quest to find all the cool software out there that will help your videos become super cool and highly engaged with your viewers. If this is something that interests you, subscribe and click the bell for new video notification every single week. Let's get some. Okay, the first step is to log into your Google account. If you don't have one, you're going to have to create it to get access to Google Slides. After logging on, go to google.com and type in Google Slides. And click the first link that appears. Now you have a choice between choosing the personal or the business. I would recommend right now to just go with personal. And the first thing that is shown to you is a demonstration slide. We don't need to really worry about that, but I do recommend that you click it and then choose File, New Presentation. And this is what Google Slides gives you with a brand new slide. Now the next step is to get rid of the text that it shows you. So just put your cursor on the edge of the containing cell, make it blue and hit your delete key for both. We're gonna get rid of those. Now the next step is to change the background of the slide and set it up so that when you make a new slide, that same background color is already set up. So right click on the slide and select change background. And the first parameter is color. Click the down arrow and select the chroma key green. Click add to theme and select done. Now any new slide that you create will contain this green color as a default, which is great. Okay, now let's work on text formatting and some things you need to think about. First, let's start with putting in a text box. So click the little T with a little square around it and drag a box that is the exact width of the green screen, okay? Inside there, we can type in anything we want, but these next lines of text represent the lyrics that you'll add into this box. So for demonstration purposes right now, I'll just type in lyrics, one, lyrics, two. You can add as many lines as you want for these slides, but for now, we'll just add two. I'm gonna highlight these two lines and make them bold. The font of Arial is an excellent font because it's the spacing that it gives and the height of the letters are very, very easy to read. So I do recommend using Arial, but make sure that you click the bold. Also, let's increase the font size just to about 25. You don't want to go too large because if you have a long line, it may wrap or do something funky and you don't want to do that necessarily. And we want to set the color to white. Lyrics are assumed to be white, and that can be a little bit problematic when you show it on white or light backgrounds. So the best way to counteract that is with a stroke, but unfortunately, Google Slides doesn't offer strokes for text. That's where you put the little line around, the black line around the uh, text, but they do offer a shadow, but using a blur shadow can be problematic. So highlight your text, click Format Options, and click the drop down to show Drop Shadow. And as you can see here, it's added the shadow to the text already, but the fuzziness is gonna be funky when you designate the green color as transparency. So we need to make that a little bit sharper. So first and foremost, make sure that you select black as the color, then drag the transparency all the way to the left, and then make the blur radius also go all the way to the left and increase your distance so that there's a standoff on the letters. So you've got a nice hard line that is a shadow and it's not gonna interfere with selecting the green background as a transparency because it's not blurred, okay? That's key. Now the last thing we wanna worry about is making sure that it's centered. So highlight the text and then you have this pull down here for a line and select center. Okay, so that's our formatting for the slide. Now when we copy these, we'll have the same formatting. Awesome. Let's move on now to the animation. Let's go into the transition button at the top and a motion box appears on the right and it gives you a clamshell thing here. So when you select the slide, you can choose from all these different types of transitions. Dissolve and fade may be problematic because we're talking about fading one slide into the next and we're using green screen. So, you know, fading colors in green screen usually really don't dance that well. So in my opinion, your best bets are the following transitions. I'm gonna hit the present button right now to show you firsthand. We got slide. They really convey the transition from one lyric to the next. I highly recommend slides. 
This is called a flip, and I don't know that it conveys transitioning from one lyric to the next as well. I'd give that one maybe a 5 out of 10. Cube is pretty cool. Again, it doesn't really, it might be a little bit confusing for your viewer, but it does have a cool factor. And gallery is really cool. I love gallery because it's it's sliding in, but yet it still looks three-dimensional. So my choice for number one would be gallery for the best, coolest transition. Okay, now it comes time to actually add all the lyrics into the individual slides. And before we move on, I just want to let you know that it's a really good idea to leave one slide blank at the beginning. That way, when the song has its lead in, you're seeing no lyrics at all. And then when the singer begins to sing, you can hit the key and the first row of lyrics appear. Now, for this demonstration, I'll be using uh, the hymn Amazing Grace as sung by Leanne Rhymes. So she sings very slow, and I'm not going to have two rows of lyrics. I'm just going to have one row at a time, and by the grace of God, I'm going to clap my hands, and a miracle will occur, and all my lyrics will be entered into the system automatically. Here we go. Okay, all the lyrics have been added into Google Slides, and I just want to let you know that if you can go larger with the text after entering all the text in, if you can make it as large without wrapping as possible, do it because I will explain why in just one second. And now I would like you to name your slide. So in this case, it was Amazing Grace. And let's move into OBS. So we need to create the scene. So the first and foremost is we need to add Leon Rhymes in here. So let's drag her video in. There she is. It is a different resolution than the screen, so I'm going to make her a little bit bigger by dragging the handle on the lower right-hand corner out to the edge. There she is. Well, let's see. We can't hear her talking. We can see that the audio mixer is moving. I see that the levels are reaching into the red, so I'm going to turn it down so it just tickles the red. We don't want it to go into the red, so that looks about right right there. And so that we can hear her, I'm going to click the gear and select advanced audio properties and find her track here there it is it's the middle track and select the pull down and select monitor and output there she is okay all right okay we'll pause the video for now that looks good the next step is to add the actual google slides into the system so when we do this uh it's very easy just hit the plus sign and select windows capture and you can name it anything you like in this case i'll make it slides hit ok and i will select the amazing grace slide here see i named it amazing grace and it says amazing grace google slides brave that's exactly the one we want to use hit ok and it looks absolutely great except it's showing the regular interface which is not what we want to show so here's what we have to do first number one we have to go into OBS and minimize it so it's not covering the entire monitor okay and now we go into our browser open it up and minimize it as well so that we can see both the browser and OBS at the same time and the reason why we want to do that is because the browser has the Google Slides on it and that's sort of used like a remote control to advance the lyrics while OBS is playing okay so we need to see what we're showing everybody and we need to control the lyrics with the browser so what you have to do is get these both viewable on your monitor. So I'm going to take OBS and drag it to the right and take my browser window containing the Google Slides here and put it on the left, okay? Now here's something that's interesting. Take, take note of what happens on Chrome if I make the browser window a little thinner. Okay, watch this. As I drag the browser to the left, the viewing area of the lyrics reduces in size so be aware of that the name of the game here is to get the lyrics as large as possible so everybody can read them so just keep that in mind so i'm going to go back into obs now and i'm going to right click the windows capture source select filters click the plus sign in the lower left hand corner and check off or select chroma key Hit OK, and all the green that shows up on the browser showing the Google Slides vanishes, okay? At this point, we'll hit Close, and we will select the browser on the left, okay? And we're going to hit the following command, Control-Shift-F5, which puts it into a chromeless full screen preview mode. We do not want this preview mode. All you have to do is mouse towards the bottom of the screen and select the four arrows 
and make it a version where it is not full screen. It still allows you to see the URL of the browser, which is what we want. If I click the arrows, watch what happens on OBS. The lyrics slide in with a super cool animated slide in. It is so slick, it is so cool. And they're in pretty large sized text, which is also super great. If you're using a video that has a white background, like Leanne's dress here, and as you can see, the text is getting lost because it's being placed upon her white dress. How do we fix that? Well, it's quite easy, actually. First and foremost, I'm gonna drag the lyric down towards the lower third, and I'm gonna crop out the top of the browser here by clicking my Alt key and taking the handle at the top here and just dragging it down so we don't see that part, okay? Number two, we're gonna hit the plus sign and select color source and make this named black. Hit OK. And we'll select the color black. Hit OK. And it inserts a full screen black colored square. And we can simply change the size of it by again hitting the Alt key and dragging it down just ab above the top of the lyric area. So I'm going to drag the source black below the window capture. And now it's right under the lyrics, okay? Now you can make this semi-transparent by right-clicking on the black, selecting filters, hitting the plus sign, and selecting color correction, hitting OK, and taking the slider at the bottom here called opacity, and I'm gonna make it 50% opacity, hit close, and now it's semi-transparent. Check that out. So let's just quickly demonstrate this thing so you can see how it works. I will make this a little bit larger here so that we can see it, okay. I'm going to select a blank source, and when I click back into the lyric source that contains Leanne, it will play. Here we go. And let's see, let's go back here and cue this up so that it starts at the blank scene. There we go. Go back into lyrics. Here we go. Yes, beautiful animated lyrics that slide in when you activate it with a keystroke in a browser. Excellent. Now the next video I have for you are animated backgrounds with a spiritual overtone to them for your church or synagogue. All you have to do is click this link right here. They're at 1080p and they are 100% commercial free. Anyway, stay strong, keep fighting. I love you, best wishes to you, and I will catch you at the next video. Take care.